For the last three years, the Makere University Agriculture Research Institute in Kabanyoro has been studying how to improve farm incomes through agriculture and livestock circulation in Uganda. The research is looking to increase the use of ICT in agriculture through smart innovative technologies. One method being implemented is the greenhouse hydroponic system where solar dryer is used to reduce post-harvest loss and aflatoxin development in food and feeds. With a hydroponic system, plants are grown without soil and instead mineral nutrient solutions are used in a water solvent. This technology is now being pushed by the Makere University Agricultural Research Institute with the support from the Korean government. Ariahawe Trinomujuni, a crop scientist who was trained in the system, says that the market surveys have shown that crops like soya are ideal for some of these technologies. This one is Mark Soya, Mark Soya 4N. We have so many varieties, but this is Mark Soya 4 Mark Soya 4N, it yields a lot. It is better than other types of soya in yielding. So we decided to plant this soya because its size of the, of the seeds is bigger than other types of soya. So even in weighing after harvesting, I, I, I get more weight faster than, than other types of soya. Trinomuchuni says that with the right knowledge, one can yield a lot from even a small piece of land. On just four and a half acres here, he is able to harvest over five tons of soya bean in a season. Soya beans are often coated with a specific form of bacteria to make them yield more, a process called inoculation. But when you just plant soya, it will grow. But it will just survive on what it can get from the soil. But when you inoculate the seeds with a specific bacteria, because as I explained before, in the soil there is no specific bacteria for the soya. Soya is a legume hmm? and it has a certain family that it falls in, Fabache. So there is a specific bacteria for every plant. According to Professor Bernard Bashasha, the principal of the College of Agriculture and Environmental Science at Macquarie University, there's a lot of work and capacity building being done with development partners. The gap has been uh, access to adequate uh, modern facilities for internships especially. As you know, most of our people like in poultry, they use deep litter. And that is kind of like aging. So when you have a facility that is using cages, that's great. When you have a facility that is using the hydroponic system, that is great. Volunteering and training is another way knowledge is now dispensed to the students of agriculture and horticulture. We are currently purchasing all levels of technologies. Uh, from low technologies to high technologies. I'm sure that the uh, uh, a wide range of experiences and technologies of Korea will uh, uh, certainly make a contribution to uh, uh, materializing Uganda's uh, potential in the agriculture sector. For now, there is a strong drive to bring smart farming solutions to the farmers of Uganda, where focus is mainly put on ICT and computer-based training. Suhail Mugabe, NTV.